you have a family, you're gonna understand why this video is so important. Where you put your kids is one of, where you put your kids in school is one of the most important things that you can do as a parent. When I try to make these videos, I try to put myself in your perspective. Now, myself, we have a family of three, another on the way to make it a fourth. Those three kids are all under the year, under the age of four. So we really have not perfected this. I personally have not. What we have done though, is we listen to friends, family, acquaintances about the schools of Des Moines. And so in this video, I kind of give my opinion on these schools. Also the rankings from niche.com are where I'm getting data. And you want my opinion on where, maybe where I would send my kids or what I've heard from others about different schools in Des Moines. This is the video for you. Hey, my name is Darson Grantham, and on this video, we're gonna go through the top five school districts in the central Iowa area, according to niche.com. Again, remember, I'm a realtor. I cannot legally and should not legally give you advice on what school districts you should move to because a school is going to depend on what you find value on. So if you value sports, find a school that has a good program in sports. If you value academics, find the academics that you really value. If you value the different clubs and boosters and, and activities, please go find the school that interest you in that. But in this video, I'm going to go through the top five according to niche.com, their report card, and what I found value and maybe maybe I difference on some of those niche.com opinions, but I'll kind of dig in and share with you the top five school districts. So let's go. First thing we're going to notice here is that none of the Des Moines Metro, like the core of Des Moines, none of those schools are listed here. Also, none of the private schools are listed here because I don't think that niche.com actually is able to evaluate the private schools versus the public schools. So on our list, we have five of the top public schools in Des Moines, in the Des Moines Central Iowa area. Fifth on the list, according to niche.com, is West Des Moines. West Des Moines, it's the oldest suburb of the Central Iowa area. And I say oldest suburb because that's kind of a weird, a weird analogy. It is hard to define if you look on a map where West Des Moines is because it's combined with Des Moines so closely that it's really just west of Des Moines, right? Valley High School is the West Des Moines School District. It is one of the premier um, both athletics and academics in the metro. So according to niche.com, it has an overall A rating. And the only ratings that it is not an A on, A minus on academics, A on teachers, a, on, a plus on clubs and activities, that, that makes a lot of sense for West, uh, for West Des Moines schools. A on administration, A minus on food, A minus on diversity, A plus on college prep, B plus on health and safety, A plus on sports, A minus on resources and facilities. Now we'll kind of dig into the housing, what the housing market is for West Des Moines. In West Des Moines schools, you're going to get a wide range of houses, both old and suburb and new build, right? So you could look at Valley Junction area. Valley Junction area is going to have your 180 to $250,000 older single family homes. So those are that's the most affordable in West Des Moines. That is the most affordable area. And then you have also in that area is, would be like a Glen Oaks. Glen Oaks would be your private golf course, um, $400 plus thousand dollars. There are some, you know, two fifty dollars to $300,000 condos in that area, in that gated community also. But you're on your single family, you're looking at 500 plus thousand dollar houses, upwards of a couple million dollars. Again, that is the gated community. And in that same West Des Moines School District, you also have, I would say it's kind of like 50th and EP True is an area of single family homes that are 300 to $500,000. They're, I wouldn't call them cookie cutter, but they're, they're, um, they have their own spice. They've been built for the last 20 plus years and they have their own kind of added, um, added taste throughout the years of what the homeowners have done to them. So a lot of variety in the West Des Moines schools. If you want the um, ent more entry level, lower cost option, all the way up to your higher end, you're gonna get all of that in the West Des Moines school districts. And number four on the list, and this is the smallest school on the list, and it is Van Meter Schools. Van Meter is, man, it was rural Iowa when I lived, when I moved to Des Moines 10 years ago. Like I couldn't believe how, um, how Van Meter has grown over the years, really because a lot of folks have outgrown Waukee School Districts, which is way out west, and have really moved into 
the Van Meter School Districts. Their sports is really good. Their academics is really good. And the, according to niche.com, they're you know, number four on the list of Central Iowa schools. They are A in academics, A plus in teachers, B in clubs and activities. And my argument on the reason why it would be B as opposed to your West Des Moines that had A, A plus on clubs and activities is that your smaller school has troubles getting enough students to love the um, maybe a drama or a chess club or those really niche things that when you have a school the size of West Des Moines, it's really easy to get that. But in your Van Meter, where your school is much, much smaller, probably a quarter of the size of West Des Moines, it's really tough to get those high, high participation in clubs. An A in administration, B plus in food, C minus in diversity. And again, this used to be literally rural Iowa. So Van Meter, the fact that it is a C minus in, in diversity really doesn't uh, surprise me at all because you have a, um, a rural community and you have the offshoot suburbs going to this school. Rarely is there diversity in Iowa when you have both of those combinations going to one school district, combining and growing that school district. B plus in college prep, A in health and safety, A in sports. I was actually surprised there that was not an A plus. They're very competitive in a lot of sports, especially for a smaller school. B plus in resources and facilities. And I think that's going to be on the uprise as their population grows and their tax, um, state tax income generates and they're able to build new and better facilities. I think that's on the rise for sure. And in Van Meter, again, like I've said, it's, it's very rural. So really you're having a lot of um, rural development, maybe um, subdivided uh, suburbia type properties. You have very, very high end million dollar plus type properties. And you have um, like Napa Valley. Napa Valley is one of the premier um, gated communities farther out in from West Des Moines. And it, it's a, again, a gated community where I'd say the lowest priced house is probably $750,000. Also, you have the city of Van Meter, again, started as a rural town, very, very old lower end houses. Again, even though that is the case, I don't think you're going to buy much there for under $150,000. And that's going to feel like the town is very small. There's a small square. It's really kind of a cool area. Um, it's interesting that the diversity there of, you know, you have that different kind of diversity. You have a, a small town folks, and then you have a molding with the folks that are working in Des Moines, making um, considerably high money compared to what Van Meter Core um, started out as. If any of this interests you, please reach out to our team. Uh, we're realtors here in Des Moines and we help people move to Des Moines, find the area, the community that makes sense for them, make sure that they are getting the best bang for their buck for where they're buying, where they're living, make sure their commute's not too much and just really helping someone feel comfortable when their move comes to Des Moines. So if any of that interests you, please reach out to myself, Darson Grantham, or anyone on my team. You can email us at the email below, phone number below. We're here to help and we've helped dozens of people buy in the Metro and we're here for you. This video, this channel in general, we don't do a sales pitch. It's really, we're trying to provide value of, of Des Moines to people that are looking at Des Moines and looking at what it can bring to them. So if that interests you, please watch more of our videos, reach out below. We are happy to do a one-on-one -on -one consult and review. Next on the list, we have Johnston Schools. And Johnston Schools is, it's, it's kind of more straight north of Des Moines, a little bit to the west. And Johnston has, I mean, it has a lot of growth. It is new developed to the north and more older neighborhoods are to the south of the Johnston area or south, south Johnston, if you will. And Johnston has been around and a staple in the community for a long, long time. Their sports are very good. Athletics are known. Their academics are known. And it's just a very um, solid school within the Des Moines community. They are A on academics, A minus on teachers, a on clubs and activities, B on administration. And I wish I had a comment on why they'd be a B on administration. I really don't know the behind the scenes of the administration in Johnston. Um, I know they had uh, quite a battle on the school um, school board here this last fall. And they had three new members come on that had very, without getting too political, uh, very conservative views. And so that school district really spoke and voted in three very conservative school board members. So I don't know what that means about the administration, if that has a tie or a change or where that stands, but um, getting a B on administration, that's, that's pretty low for what I would have expected out of Johnston. A, A on the report card for food, B minus on diversity. Again, B minus does not surprise me. The further out you get in the metro, the less diversity comes. It is a little bit further away from the metro, from the, the core urban metro, which again, brings less diversity. Not surprising that they got a B minus there. 
A for college prep, A minus for health and safety, A for sports, and A minus for resources and facilities. In the Johnston area, you have, um, you don't have very much old, there's not very much old Johnston that's gonna be very affordable. The most affordable places you're gonna get are gonna be apartments and condos. Johnston has a higher price, um, price average than most of the suburbs. And you're gonna have anywhere from $300,000 properties up to a million plus properties. So again, a wide variety there, gonna be more in the 300 to $500,000 range. That's where your most of the properties are gonna be. They're gonna be four twos, three twos. And a lot of the communities are, they feel country, like kind of some bigger parcels, not as much cookie cutter stuff is, is in Johnson as, it, as there are in your West Des Moines and Waukee areas. That's what you're gonna feel. Also in Johnston, the north part of Johnston does have quite a few acreage in wooded timber type lots. So if that's the type of property you're looking for, Johnson's gonna have more of those. The unfortunate thing is people don't move from Johnson very often, so there just isn't very much active inventory. And so when you're looking for houses in Johnston, you need to be ready to act fast. Next on the list is Ankeny Community Schools. Ankeny actually has two different high schools, and so they've split up. And I don't know how this niche.com report kind of facilitates that, but I think you'll see in some of the report card ratings that there has been some um, reviews that have brought their report card down in certain areas. And I'll get into that of why that might be. They're an A in academics, A plus in teachers, A plus in clubs and activities, B plus in administration. I think that might be one where they kind of got a tick down based on the, how they handled the splitting up of high schools and elementaries that are growing. And I even think they're, they're putting another new high school out in the Northeast section of Ankeny. So a lot of growth in that North northeast north and northwest of ankeny b plus on food c plus in diversity this one actually surprised me i think that ankeny has a fair amount of diversity in their city um i when i see it i i, I guess i'm just going by my my viewpoint but i think there is quite a bit of diversity in ankeny schools depending on what school and what area you're in i i, I would disagree with the c plus on this report card but that's neither here nor there they were a on college prep and a on health and safety a plus on sports and a minus on resources and facilities. Again, none of that surprises me at all. Out of this report card, the one that surprised me the most was the C minus in diversity for Ankeny. Ankeny properties, um, depending on what school, what high school you want your kid to go to, there are, um, there's old Ankeny and you can get properties down to 250,000 condos throughout Ankeny at the 170 to $200,000 mark. That's gonna be your most affordable parts of Ankeny. And again, just like the rest of the Metro, you have properties, kind of your average is gonna be in the 350 to 550 range. And you do have those outliers of the million dollar plus properties. And you probably have more of those, I would probably argue, more of those in Ankeny than you're gonna have in any of the other suburbs uh, in Des Moines. Um, and the styles, they're gonna vary um, depending on what subdivision, what neighborhood you look at. Again, association fees and covenants, all that's gonna vary quite a bit. It's gonna be really tough to find any acre acreage type properties in Ankeny, There's, they're far and few between, a lot fewer than probably any of the other um, metro cities that we're gonna have on this list. So if you're looking for you know, a one to three acre, pro uh, acre parcel, it's gonna be really tough to find in these Ankeny schools. And last but not least, we have Waukee schools. And I would imagine you probably knew Waukee was gonna be on this list. It has all the accolades, it gets a lot of press, a lot of attention, and there is a lot of growth in, Anke or in, in Waukee. And one of the things is, it started um, just rural enough that they could build on all a, all sides of Waukee. So they have built to the east, they have built to the west, they built to the north, and built into the south. So Waukee, because it wasn't that close to Des Moines, they had the opportunity to really expand real fast, real quick. They're getting a lot of industrial. I've done videos on Waukee also. And so if any of that interests you, go look at those videos. But Waukee schools, again, um, when you have the population growth, the schools kind of build up from that also. So we'll get into the report card. A plus for academics, A for teachers, A for clubs and activities, A for administration. A for administration, actually, I would have put their administration kind of a step back uh, to be completely candid. Um, there's been a lot of controversy and um, issues within their administration in the last two years, whether that's right or wrong. The fact that you have controversy and questions within the administration, lawsuits going on, like that gives me some pause on what exactly is happening within the administration, but, um, this report card shows an A, we'll stick with that. Just something to kind of think about. An A for food, an A minus or B minus for diversity. Again, these suburbs, you're gonna have a, a struggling diversity. Um, most of Iowa schools in general, unless you're looking at the urban central core of Des Moines, 
are going to have probably lower percentages of diversity. A for college prep, B plus for health and safety, A plus for sports, and A minus for resources um, and facilities. Again, that rounds out the top five list. And if you want any more of these type videos, please comment below, email me, let me know what areas of Des Moines you want videos on, what topics you want videos on, what will help you build your case for where you're going to move to Des Moines or what part of Des Moines makes the most sense for you.